I have a new mug today. That's good. I've also turned on my ring light and my camera sort of set up and just to see if it'll change the light to any, make it look maybe a bit better. And then this makeup. I'm going to have on a post, not a video this time, just because it's the exact same, near enough, the exact same. <coughs> <clears throat> that I've had for my blue look, pink look. So, before today's video, I have part two of my collective haul. Um, and my last one, I said that I was waiting on Revolution stuff coming. And since then, I have bought quite a quite a bit more. <laughs> um. Well, I have it all here. Some of it actually doesn't fit in this wee basket anymore. Oh no! But yep, it's still here. So... Yes, let's get started. Let me just pick this up. Okay, Brooke. Um, I'll start with this stuff that's sort of outside the wee basket. And um, these only came today. And... I had changed my organisation for some of my liquid lipsticks. So where I used to have my high-end ones, they're now in my drawer and just my lip pencils are sitting up on my table. And whenever I sort of look at it, I have such a pathetic variety of lip pencils. That I was like, oh shit. So I went on the Morphe. Because their lip pencils are very good actually, they're what, 4 50 I like gave even NYX suede ones or fibre, so slightly cheaper, but I went on to Morphe and I sort of wanted to get one in each category, so I got five, <laughs> as you do. Let me see if I can organise these into like a colour scheme. <clears throat> so I got five ones. I'm sure you saw what Morphe pencils look like. Um, but I got a nude in bamboo, a pink in bubble, a plum burgundy in wine me, and then like a bright orangey red in high maintenance, and a red in scarlet. Cookie. Let's see. Um, but I might maybe do like. A swatch video or something that might actually be quite fun. Um, just showing you all the different colours of those. And then also today I got my two Doll Beauty lipsticks. Um, what was the offer? I can't remember the offer but they're they used to be they're 13 each, but with the offer, I think I got two for 16. That was like a certain percent off. So maybe like 30% off? Oh yeah, so you saved a fiver. That's right, isn't it? 13 to eight. I see basically I got a fiver off. And um, so they were eight pound each then, and I got the shades FOMO and Come to Mama. I haven't even looked at these yet. Um, but I can also do like a, maybe not a video, but I can maybe like a post or something on those. I then also got her, these, this company reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I would like to be a part of their like collab scheme. Um, so I do have a code for these now, <laughs> which is actually pretty exciting. Um, so it's, I'll put it on the screen as well, but it's Lujo X Rachel Gurley 20 for 20% off. And they're based in the UK, cruelty free, all that. Um, the only thing about this though, the packaging is really cute. 
but it doesn't say the name of the style of lash, which is the only thing that sort of annoys me. Um, see, I have worn them, so... They're in this style, excuse me, miss. But those lashes are really nice. I use them in my blue cloud look, if you would like to go check that out. Next thing I'm actually really excited about, I haven't... Oh no, tell I. I used one of the shades today to do my wee... Dots. <laughs> um, I would say this brand is almost like an indie brand. I think there's only maybe... One girl that owns it. And it's based in the UK. But this is Glisten Cosmetics. And they have their pastel liner bundle. But it's almost like the... It's like the Suva Beauty. It's almost like a cake. What's it? Like a cake line? A cake liner or something like that? And you just like wet your brush with a wee bit of water and just sort of mix it. Um, but she had an offer on the bundle, so instead of 36, it was 30, so you essentially got one free. Or I could just work out a fibre each. Um, but you get one, two, three, six colours. So there is mint. which is a really lovely pastel green there is blue brie there's a wee pastel blue colour vanilla which I do not understand because this is like a lemon yellow don't know what it's called vanilla peach grape And then strawberry. Um, but because this company, pretty sure it's like a one woman show, it did take a while for delivery. Um, it was over two weeks or so, but I think every week you sort of got an email with like an update on where your order was and like the line to be processed, packaged, delivered and sent out. So that was really good. But yeah, I tried the vanilla shade and it was really nice. I can't wait to try them more. Or try the rest of them, sorry. We're actually getting a bit more into the basket now. <laughs> um, tea break. But yeah, I'll take out some of the bulkier things just so that's a bit easier. Um, I got two tans of Beauty Bay. One of them I've done a review video for and it's the one I have on at the minute. Um, so I got Bally Body in Ultra Dark. I will link this video down below in case you'd like to check it out. And my next tan review is going to be on the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey. This is just in the shade Dark. So once I get this tan off, scrubbed, brand new skin. I'm going to do another review on this one. So they were both off Beauty Bay. What will I do next? <laughs> do you know something? I'm such a sucker for like offers. It's actually crazy. Um, I've never had anything from Iconic London before. It's just the price. I just kind of like for liquid illuminators whenever you have a revolution. Six pounds, I'm not going to pay friggin' over double that. Do you know what I mean? Um, but the it came up on my Instagram, the iconic was having like an offer. So you got to pick your illuminator spray and a free gloss. Was it for like 3360 or something? And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I got the illuminator in the shade shine which I will admit it is lovely it um the, rev the revolution is nice but sometimes I feel like because of the consistency is a bit drier it sort of shows a bit more texture this just glides on it's lovely and then the prep set glue I got in the original shade 
And this one is really nice. Haven't tried this yet. Um, oh, just look at it. You would want to drink that. And then the free gloss. It's a plumping gloss in the shade Peekaboo, which I actually didn't think I would like. And then I put it on and I was like, <laughs> can't really say no, can I? So that's it there. It's coming up maybe a bit more peach on camera. But it is a bit more of a pink based peach. Does that make sense? <laughs> Probably not. And then P. Louise had a three for two on. Um, it was just on like her standard bases, not the what were the not the acid rain, just like the standard base. So I wanted to get a few more colours because I have the winter basic solid pastels. So I got the basic brights in Rude Boy Red. <coughs> Haven't tried this one yet, but it does look nice. I then got it in OTT Orange. This one is nice, but for me it's not orange enough. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's a bit more like a red based orange, whereas I would like more of like a like a yellowy based orange where it's a bit brighter almost like literally like an orange yeah just like a bit more like a yellow base instead and then I'm actually excited for this I might use this in like a how to like black smoky eye this is the is that the name of it? taking you to the dark side? is that just is that what it's called or is it just black? oh bad a black base <laughs> Taking you to the dark side. And I'm excited to try that. I do want to do like a go to like black smoky eye, how to black smoky eye. A lot of people remember to see like a black eye shadow, especially if it's pigmented, they get a wee bit scarred. So I thought that might be quite fun, especially to use this as a base. Sometimes if I use like a black gel liner, it just smudges, transfers. Awful. Awful. Saving the best for last. <laughs> so, in my last haul, I said that I picked up some items from the new glow range, which I did. I got one, two, three, five. But I also picked up two other items. One of them is one of the Revolution Pro Hydro Gloss. I done a look inspired by Emma's Rectangle a few weeks ago. It might have been a few weeks ago and she had typical. Oh that glow though. Um and she used a colour so similar to this but it was a L'Oreal stain. Mostly cruelty free kind of use L'Oreal so I was like right so in my video I showed you three different lipsticks because I did not have a gloss this colour and I was on the Revolution website getting the new glow range and I was like god I wonder if they have anything so I went and had a look and they had this shade spoken and it is the perfect orangey red gloss it's not sticky it's not too sheer it has the perfect amount of pigment to it without maybe worrying about it being too slippy in the sense that it'll end up all over your teeth on your chin on your cheeks and um, but it's not sticky either um, and it actually has collagen hyaluronic acid and peptides so I really like that I've worn it once I might actually do a video with it, or a post, just showing you this. 
then in my last video which was the clouds cut crease I had carved underneath my eyebrows but I didn't want to show you what concealer I was using because it's not cruelty free and I knew I wanted to get a cruelty free replacement for it but I just hadn't been able to find one so on the Revolution website it's like oh I wonder if they have anything else you know minus the Consume Define Infinite all of that and I seen this So this is the Conceal and Fix Ultimate Coverage Concealer with Salicylic Anti Sunnies. <laughs> That's not right. And I got the shade Light Yellow. This was the second lightest. I think the first one was like light pink. So I went for the light yellow. Um, I'm going to test this and if it is a good dupe for the NARS. Oh. Shit. <laughs> I was using the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. It is brilliant. To be honest, I will probably use it up just because I have it. But I will do a little video or a post or something to let you know what this is like. I'm going to test it maybe tomorrow and see. But I think this was only. Was this like a fiber? six pound one of these was a fiver and one was six or they were both six but and then for the glow range i picked up two of the brushes one of the liquid illuminators one of the oils and the bronzer so i'll show you the bronzer first the shades in this is unreal if you have medium to deep to deep dark skin you should highly check these out I think it's amazing that a drugstore brand can cater to so many different skin tones it's crazy the only thing I would say though is that if you've seen my fur skin makeup <laughs> I'll link it down below too you will know just how white and pale I actually am. Like I'm the shade blank in the Hourglass foundation. Like I am the lowest <laughs> of the low. <laughs> um, and the literally the shades in this there's maybe about six, but it's like a light to deep dark, which is amazing. But for someone that is very very fur. The light shade is going to be too dark for me. So that is it there. It's the perfect mix between warm and cool. So if you want to sculpt with this you can. If you want to warm up the face you can. If you want to use it literally as a bit of both instead of contouring and bronzing. This will be perfect. But just for me whenever I'm on my first. It will be too dark. So even if they had just one lighter than this it would be spot on for my fur skin and then the oil I got in the shade gold just give it a mix once it sort of sits for a while the shimmer sort of sinks to the bottom um, and it looks like this oh unreal this is a gold shade. I haven't tried. I actually haven't tried any of this glue range yet. Ah, I was saving it for maybe like a first impressions. Um, so that's the oil in gold. And this is the brush that comes with it. So it is really soft, quite dense as well. Um, I like the way it has like the sort of fatter, like the roots just sort of grab and just buff. I actually think it'll make it quite easy to apply. So I'm excited to try the hat. 
And I got the Molten Body Glue. It's going to be used on the face or body as well. And this one is in the shade Gold as well, I think I got. Highlighter with Coconut and Pineapple Fragrance. I fucking love pineapple. I am pretty sure I got the gold in this, it doesn't say on it. But that is what it looks like. Lovely. This is giving me Fenty-ish vibes. But the brush that this one <laughs> is just Huda Beauty. That was literally it. And this one is actually softer than the one for the oil. It's not as dense. But that literally just looks like the Huda Beauty one. It's so soft. Yeah, just a little buff apply. But yeah, so that is everything. It is quite a lot gathered up over maybe three to four weeks. Um, I will definitely do a video on like swatches, first impressions, everything like that. Um, also if you want to see what I've used on this like base and the eyes, I am going to post this look on Instagram maybe tomorrow. I posted quite a lot yesterday so I'm going to post this look tomorrow. This video will hopefully be up on Friday. But yes, that is everything. Um, I hope you guys liked it. And they got some ideas, maybe new products, cruelty free options that you would like to try. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Don't know what it's going to be yet, but it'll hopefully be something entertaining or worthwhile for you to watch. Um, but if you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. And until next time.